<coughs> okay, so you see the screen, right? So this is what we are going to uh, discuss today, guys. Okay, one second. Okay, so so basically today's session is all about. Okay, so we will be doing one live simulation, right, on the iron fly for like three market conditions. One one is for the complete downtrend. The second one would be like uptrend, and then we would see some sort of uh, A shape, or you call it as uh, maybe first three days market will go up, and then all of us it comes down, right? So basically, see today I'm not going to teach you any magical, right? I know the view of the market, but what I'll do is like I'll not I'll ensure that I'll not show any chart, right? Uh, any I mean I, I, what I meant to say I'll not show the bank Nifty view for you because if I show you that view, right? Unnecessarily you'll come you'll 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 uh, come into that confusion zone, right? So just try to be with me for next like one hour, right? Let's try to see multiple approaches. Okay, one one downtrend market, right? What are the pros and cons of if I'm using broken wing fly? Okay, is broken wing fly a typical adjustments for downtrend market? Right? Is reverse buying the typical adjustments for downtrend market? I mean, do we need to do some sort of naked buying? See, what I meant to say is like, these are all the adjustments. This is not the end, what you're seeing it on screen. Right? Reverse buying, it's it's a system in itself. Right? Today, we are going to touch base on the reverse buying also. Broken wing fly, one of my favorite. We'll see like when exactly we have to use and when exactly we should not be using. Okay, contra trade as an adjustment. This is my favorite. Okay, if 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 I get some time, definitely I'll cover this thing. And then directional strategies as adjustments. Guys, try to try to understand. Okay, iron fly is a non-directional trade. I do not believe on any strategies. I mean, if someone is believing on strategies saying that iron fly is, I mean, I'll cover all those things. There is nothing called strategies, guys. It's all about your mindset. So whenever you are deploying one iron fly, which is non-directional. All right, so you have to ensure that to mitigate the loss, you have to get that done by directional strategies. We will discuss about them also. Naked option selling or naked option buying. Okay, this is also very important. Intraday to balance the iron fly. I'll show you right how you can do the intraday to balance the uh, your positional uh, trade. Okay, delta premium management. This is gone, guys. I mean, just forget about. Uh, see, end of the day, whatever adjustments we do, basically we do it knowingly, unknowingly, we do the delta management, right? We never go into the profit and loss. We never go into the creeks and everything and see whether this premium. See, whatever adjustments for me, for me, the blue line is very critical for delta. And then playing with wicks, guys. Understand? See, today's session is all about wicks. That's it. Any strategy, guys. I mean, even if you are an option seller, option buyer, it's all about playing with VIX. So we should be called as volatility trader. Okay. And then let me take you to the screen. <clears throat> See, the reason why I've taken all the notes is just so that I do not miss out anything. See, pre-recorded videos, guys, I've already made a video on last week. Okay. So I'm expecting you to watch this video. That's the reason I've told you. Even in the Twitter also, I've shared this video. This is a two-hour session what we had last week. So it, it, it's a sort of revision of Iron Flame. Right? This we did not have done any simulation. We have just discussed about the strategies and all those things in sensible. But today we are going to discuss. The other thing is like what uh, you need to uh, see. There is no holy grail in the trading. Whatever adjustments I'm doing, if someone has some question saying that this guy know the view of the market and is able to tell us all the adjustments, yeah, I mean, I cannot help you. But I'll try to show you all the other adjustments because I cannot teach you. I cannot take the live class for next five days, right? So now, if at all you want to see all the adjustments, I'll like just uh, uh, letting you know that what adjustments we have to do, what adjustment we should not be doing, all those things. Okay, so there is no holy grail in the market as such. Okay, so I'm not teaching you any rocket science. Decoupling, decouple iron fly. See, I already there are there is a playlist in my YouTube which is free. What did I say? I mean, you have to watch all those uh, playlists, right? What is iron fly? Can someone type me what is iron fly? It's a combination of what? Can someone at least type me? What is iron fly basically? I'm just waiting, guys. Let's 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 make it very interactive. It's simple. It's it's yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Straddle with edges, or we can call it as credit spread combination of two credit spreads. We can call it as straddle plus edges. Let's, unless and until you guys decouple it, right? Right. What do we say? Uh, I have a view of the iron fly by decoupling it, right? So basically, it's a straddle, and the moment you add edge on the call set, that becomes the broken wing fly. 
the moment you you deploy the straddle and then you are adding a edge on the put side that will become a broken wing fly if you are adding edge on both the sides that will become your typical iron fly right so now you have to think right straddle you have to know the straddle management you have to know the you have to know the so now someone said right it's a combination of two credit splits okay one debit and one credit uh, sorry uh, one put credit splits and it, it's a combination of two credit splits basically so we are not going to discuss about the basic but you have to break the iron fly into different combination that's it right so if you know it's a combination of two credit splits it becomes very easy for you to do the adjustments simple right when 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 market goes one sided right so you have to know out of these two credit splits right which credit split is giving you the profit so whichever is giving you the profit you have to just exit them and then whichever is giving you the loss you have to manage them unnecessary what people do is like retailers do is like they do not know it's a combination of two credit splits so the winning spread also they try to retain there, there is no question right if the market takes a u turn unnecessarily the profit what you have earned in one of the spread you will end up losing so you have to know the difference you have to know basically identify is a combination of straddle with edges or it's a combination of two so that's what uh, written it somewhere here Right, and that's why I say stop loss is the key, guys. Whatever we are discussing today, stop loss is the key. So you have to accept the stop loss. And when I say stop loss, literally what I meant to say is like a typical iron fly requires two point five lakhs to three lakhs, guys. If if someone is planning to do the iron fly adjustments only with reverse buy, yeah. So then you have to calculate your uh, stop loss on a capital of forty thousand, fifty thousand, because end of the day, reverse buying doesn't requires any uh, uh, option selling. But typically, when you are deploying a iron fly, you have to consider two point five lakhs to three lakhs. Though it takes forty to fifty thousand for you guys to deploy the iron fly, but you have to have certain reserve to do the adjustment. So now your stop loss should be on not on fifty thousand. The, the the iron fly what you deploy, the stop loss should not be on. Fifty thousand, but rather it should be on the overall capital what you are preserving for the iron fly. So it can be two point five lakhs or three lakhs. Yeah, it's a different case when you want to just manage your iron fly with reverse buying. So then that extra margin is not required. But iron, but uh, the reverse buying has its own pros and cons. The number of multiple reverse buying you do, right? The same number of, I mean, it 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 decreases the range and also uh, what do we say? It 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 decreases the probability of profit. Okay, so guys, I'm just going to discuss everything practical, but let let let's uh, others join us. All about see, uh, yeah, this one theta decay, guys. You have to know the theta decay. Right? Let me take the epic pen. Right? If someone doesn't know this thing, I mean, even I. One second, guys. This one. So we all know, right? The theta decay happens. The the cycle remains like this. The theta time. Okay. Something like this, right? This is your Thursday, right? Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and forty to fifty percent of the theta decay happens during your Wednesday and Thursday. Guys, this is very very important for you to understand, right? If you are a option seller, this is what you want. You want the falling, you want the premiums to fall, right? Theta decay, right? You want to eat the theta decay. But for option buyer, this is enemy, right? For option buyer, this is enemy. But for option seller, this is the friend because you want the theta to decay. Right? Wednesday and Thursday are the two critical days where your 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 adjustments, right? Your thought process should change and it should be aligned to this time. That's the reason I've written the theta decay. But for me, right? I do not take the theta decay. For me, the blue line is all about. See, without blue line, if let's say tomorrow I do not have sensible tool or obstacle tool, I cannot trade this. Honestly, I cannot trade on the numbers. Even many of the students call me saying that, sir, I got eighteen thousand, uh, put nineteen thousand. I do not understand unless and until you show me the payoff. That's it. I'm not the kind of guy who can just go with the numbers and say, boss, this is right. For me, for me, the typical payoff, any payoff, right? I mean, it can be like weird to weird payoff, but I need that payoff because there I see that blue line. So where is that blue line? Okay, this is a current market price, and my loss starts from here. Whenever the zero line breaches, right? So that's where I analyze the trade. For me, blue line is very important. That's it. If you ask me, this is the only one thing what I trade. So let's see. All about playing with VIX. I mean, this. I, I think I might have made so many videos. It's it's all about VIX. We are all volatility traders. Combo of adjustment. This is what we are going to learn today. Taking the calculated risk. See, guys, this is very important, right? You have to take the risk. If someone is very conservative, right? If at all is is okay to just take 0.5 percent of the stop loss, but is expecting 
five percent for being low. That is not going to work. So you have to take the calculated risk. When I say calculated risk, even though if you made a profit of two thousand, let's say with single lot, right? You have to take the calculated risk of like let's say five hundred or one thousand in terms of increasing the profit. That's what we. I mean, that's what we keep on focusing. Right? You have to. It, it's not only with the loss, even with the earned profit. Also, you have to just. Give away that five hundred or one thousand profit to the market, and and try to trap the market in such a way that within four weeks, right? So just by just giving five hundred rupees loss, if you are able to increase the profit overall profit to two x times, three x times, it is very difficult for you to just get every week. But if you are fortunate and if you have that good technical, uh, what do we say, the adjustment skills, right? You can get. But at least once in four weeks, guys, you can trap the market. But just giving five hundred rupees for single lot, guys. I'm talking. All the strategies what we are doing is only on the single lot. All right, and then it's it's all about directional and non-directional. That's it, guys. So there is no strategies, guys. You have to be like good at one directional strategy and one non-directional strategy. Simple. Right, so when we talk about the directional, it's it's all about your spreads, right? It can be your uh, directional butterfly, it can be ratio spread, it can be debit spreads. All these are directional trips. Right? When you talk about the non-directional, your typical iron fly, your typical what do we say, iron condor, straddle, strangles. But I do not believe on the. I mean, see, that's that's my. I do not go for straddle and strangle. But but if required, on what did I say? On Wednesday and Thursday, I'll just try to convert my positional trades. to to undefined loss but on wednesday and thursday because i know by that time the theta would decay my blue line will give me more safety you you know right end of the day that particular premium has to become zero by thursday so that's that's where i make my strategies i convert my positional strategies to straddle or strangle only on wednesday uh, maybe post lunch and then end of the day wednesday or thursday entire day to take the advantage of this Uh, theta dk and edge with yeah this is this is i know i'm not sure whether you guys will believe this or not but i do this any strategy what i have right the loss making i'll just try to the loss side basically it can be opposite side it can be testing side i try to do more of edging with this swing trading or with usd and so let's say i'm bullish in uh, bank nifty i'll try to edge my bank nifty with usd and at the end of the day the currency right it's in currency between india and us majority of the times they uh, they are the mirror impact if usd if usd goes up rupees comes down if rupees goes up usd uh, comes down right i'll try to use them and the other contract right? if time permits we'll do that and this is very important guys i mean uh, roll over same thing right i'll i'll show you one example right whenever you deploy any uh, uh, what do we say any st strategy right let's say on wednesday if the trade stands on your break even of your iron fly the best way to mitigate this thing is like you have to deploy one more strategy for the next week on thursday or wednesday right you have to manage your current week trade with the next week trade that's it now you got it right the next week because wednesdays and thursdays this two days market will be very volatile right you have to capture that volatility in terms of mitigating the loss so let's say you have your your your, your price stands at the break even of the iron fly you are in loss of let's say like 1500 so now the next week trade what you have to do is like this is your testing side right so you have to deploy either a debit spread or a call ratio spread so that even if the market goes upside right this particular loss should be covered by your debit spread call debit spread this is especially on wednesday and thursday guys this this works like miracle but end of the day you need to connect those dots so this this strike selection the the uh, premium selection everything matters right so typically what happened is like you have mitigated your loss by the next week trade so you have another like 7 days for you to manage end of the day it's all about mitigating the loss the reason why we have deployed the call debit spread for the next week is already your iron fly is failed here basically so rather than giving this loss right why don't you cover this loss by a directional trade and if market comes takes a u turn so you'll be able to trap the market in the green zone yeah technically this will give you very less loss because you have deployed this for next week even if the market goes by 1% your loss in a debit spread would be like 500 600 but if that happens you'll be able to trap the price into your center of the iron flag this profit will be huge 
but this loss will be less. So once you get into profit, exit this entire trade, and then you have to manage your debit spread. I'm not sure whether <clears throat> I was able to convince, but this is what we learn in the paid mentorship program. Guys. Okay. The other thing is like avoid exposing trades to unlimited loss. So let's say you're deploying the iron fly. You have to ensure that you're not exposing your iron fly to unlimited loss. If at all you want to do, you can just do it on Wednesday and Thursday because managing straddle and strangle for two days is very easy than managing it for five days. If at all you want to convert your iron fly to naked to unlimited loss strategies, you have to get that done during Wednesday and Thursday because you have to take the advantage of the theta DK. And then final, it's all, what did I say? It's all about guys. It's all about mindset. Okay. Second, it's all about mindset and don't depend on any strategies. Right? Don't depend on any strategy and, and don't be rigid saying that so-called trainer, so-called YouTuber told me to do the reverse buying without understanding the pros and cons of the reverse buying. You should not be doing the reverse buying. Pro Conving Fly has its own pros and cons. You have to understand. Okay. So now, uh, so guys, are you so far with me? This was more of theory, but now we will jump on to the simulation. So are we good to jump on to the simulation? All right. All right. So now what I'll do. Okay. See, again, just a disclaimer. Please don't open any chat. Right. I'm taking three market conditions. Please. It's it's for your benefit. Guys. Don't open any chat. Right. Just be with me. I know the market view. I know the market view so that I'll just explain you. Then only see guys, even I, if I know the market view also, then only you guys will able to know, right? Okay. Even this adjustments will work like miracle. This adjustments will is, is, is like messing up my all trade. So don't open the chat. Be with me for next one hour, right? I'll, I'll just try to show you multiple ways of doing the adjustments. And then you will get this recorded sessions. You can watch, you can watch one times, two times. You try to play with the market. If you have any questions, you can just comment so that I can answer. Okay. Now let me take you to. Uh, is that yes, sensible, not sensible. Sorry, uh, this one, <clears throat> Opstar. Okay, simple guys. I'm just trying to do this strategy for okay, right? Let okay, right? This is for 9th March, okay, and 16th March is the expiry date. Simple, right? So I've taken Bank Nifty. I could have shown you the uh, this thing also trading view chart, but let me see how it goes. So now I'm just deploying an iron fly on. Uh, 9th of March for the 16th expiry. Okay, what do we do? And this is not the standard process. Guys. Don't ever do like only at 3 p.m. you have to deploy the trade. That's what we have discussed each and everything in this video, right? If you remember, if someone has joined, right, we have discussed about the life cycle of iron fly. Don't be rigid. Don't constraint yourself to, okay, iron fly has to be deployed at 3 p.m. on Thursday. Without try to ask that question to yourself. Why? Why are we deploying the iron fly at 3 p.m.? Right? No one knows it. Honestly, I'm telling 50% of the audience doesn't know why we are deploying the iron fly on Thursday. Just because someone showed you have to, why, why exactly you have to go for iron fly, right? Why can't you go it for broken link fly? Okay. Why can't you go for broken link fly by having an edge only on the put side? If you're concerned about market going downside, if you're concerned about market going only, if you if your view says market can go up, then why the hell should I have the put edge edge on the put side? Right? You can go for broken link fly, you can go for straddle, uh, you can go for naked buy and then convert it to see. There are like n number of things what we have discussed already. I don't want to again discuss. All right, so now let me take you to this thing. So now what we do? So okay, let me take the same standard process. I went to 10th March. I'll come back to at 3 p.m. Okay, let me take the same. Then only you guys will be able to understand. Okay, now the market stands at 41,400. 41,450. Okay. <clears throat> see, 41,450. So if you see the premiums, you are getting the premiums of uh, 325 and 285. Guys, can, tell, can someone please tell me why uh, the premiums are less? It all depends on the VIX. Now you go and check this expiry. What way does the VIX stand? That's the reason you are getting low, sorry, a low VIX. So what I'll do, 41,400, right? 41,450 basically. So let me take three, three, let me take this one. Okay. I'll sell single lot. 
right i'm selling this single line simple this is a typical uh, straddle right if at all you want to go you can go for this straddle also but you know right unlimited loss even if the market makes like downside upside movement you will get into loss so now 41400 is what i've taken okay so now i got a premium of 300 and 285 so net net i got 600 premium simple right 285 plus 325 600 that's it 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'll buy back this as an edge okay so this this is your typical broken wing fly okay if someone is concerned about market going downside you can just go and deploy this thing okay you have protection on the put side but unlimited loss on the call side if at all your concerns in the market can go up you have to add the edge okay so what did we do 41641234567 that's it and the other thing is guys you have to check this round figures don't be rigid let's say if this is coming at 600 right you can take the chance go for round figures because these are less vol these are less liquid so whenever you are getting the round figures see what what basically happens right there, there would be a deviation of 600 700 rupees loss but you will get good liquidity you can go for round figures so let's say this this strike is coming at 600 so i don't mind going for 42000 because this has good liquidity okay so typically this has this is your iron fly and just take a note guys 10000 is your profit and 4000 775 is the loss so now now the the ultimate this thing would be so just keep an eye on this thing 10000 and let's say 5000 one is to two trade okay so now this is very important for you to understand okay <clears throat> let's say this is your current market price all right this is your current market price and then let's say you have two resistance one and two simple guys so similar way you have support one you have support two simple right this is your cmp okay i'm not i'm using the mouse so this is your resistance one resistance two all right support one support two so i'm just assuming you guys are deploying iron fly with the levels if someone is deploying iron fly just randomly right i mean guys you have to understand whenever you go for any strategy right this is your current market price so you should have resistance one resistance two you should have support one and support two because see your expectation is see market can go take the resistance here it can come here it can play right if this happens you will be into good profit simple let's say the market comes and it it's a support and if it it support gets respected if the market comes up and again this gets respected if this happens you will be in good profit third scenario let's say the market has breached your resistance one and it went to resistance two but again it came back from here and now it is playing uh, within this range you will get with decent profit still second thing market came it breached your support it went up but this second support got respected and it, and it is playing between these two things you will get with good decent profit right let's say the market went up it took the resistance in two days again it came down this acted as a support so basically this is your range guys right this is your range <clears throat> this is a market price and let's say this range is like 1.5% it all depends on the vix 1.5% <clears throat> on an average i'm taking or it's if the vix is at 18 19 20 20 when you will get with 2% range pro range upside and downside guys are you with me am i confusing you is this very simple this is this is very important for you to understand <clears throat> can someone please type s yes, no is it very complicated or should i show see simple i'm just showing you current market price you should have two resistance level two support levels because that would help you in terms of doing the adjustments don't be rigid don't di directly go and just deploy the iron fly right again let me let me tell you this is your current market price so i want typical market to play within this range within this range if the market breaches this resistance level 1.5 or 2% let's say right day 1 day 2 day 3 it has breached and it is going up so that doesn't make any sense for you to stay in that trade because you have deployed the iron fly with an intention of sideways if your resistance to also got breached i said breached with strong volume with strong reversal candle so then there is no point of you doing the fire fighting you have to accept your stop loss now you you got it right uh, why did i say you have to have the attitude of accepting the stop losses you should have you should calculate right now you decide your stop loss is it 2% 3% is within this volatility market right 2% stop loss is easily met so i'll just leave it to you whether is it like the moment 
the 2% or 3% stop loss has met exit the trade there is no thought or else if you are like very good at doing the adjustments you have to deploy the contra trades or exit with the direct strength trade right the moment the market goes up right you should not even think about uh, this trade exit this entire trade and then deploy the iron trade they deploy the direct strength trade like your call debit spread naked by ratio spread but i what i'll show you is like how to retain this trade how to use this is my trade one guys simple this is my trade one if this situation happens if the market opens tomorrow the moment i deploy the trade the tomorrow the market opens gap up by 1.5% the beauty can someone please tell me if if my loss is 4775 for the iron fly tomorrow if market opens gap up by 1.5% what could be my loss what could be my loss guys 4000 5000 is the maximum loss but tomorrow the next day let's say i'm deploying thursday the next day market has opened 1.5% what would be my anyone absolutely yeah it could be 500 600 700 all see no one can tell you right because the premium calculation depends on various parameters like your vix your uh, time the theta dk there are like so many vega i mean i don't i don't even know right no one can even calculate the premium so it depends like 500 to 1000 or 1200 right so anyways even if you are considering like 3 lakhs uh, as a capital so even if you are considering like 1% as a stop loss so guys in that case it has not met your stop loss 3000 is your stop loss or maybe someone will put like a 3.5 or 4.5 5000 as a stop loss right the next day even if the market opens 1.5% technically that would not give you more than 1500 so you should not get into panic now you have to think should i exit the trade see there are only two options guys the moment the next day market open gap up by 1.5% don't do the fire fighting i happily accept that loss of 800 900 and then though it has not it your stop loss bit see don't be rigid again what i'm telling is like two things one thing is like do not wait until your stop loss is next day boss next day you have deployed the trade at 315 next day 920 market opened at here and then your loss is 800 1000 exit the entire iron flag that's it and you watch out for the price action then either you can enter one more iron fly or if you think that market has uh it became very momentum you have to go for directional trades or non directional i'll not take any name today we are discussing about uh, iron fly but i'll not take any name of the directional you have to know that so now what we what i'll do i'll delete all these things okay so at 320 we have deployed this trade 3 o'clock on 9th let me take to 330 Alright guys, so you are at a seventy rupees profit. Okay, let me take you to nine fifteen. So see, ninth is the deployment date. Next five minutes. Simple guys. See now, this is what happens. Okay, market was. Let me take you to five minutes. Market was standing at forty one three eighty. Can someone please do the calculation? And market has opened forty one three eighty. And the market next day market has opened at forty thousand seven twenty five. So what? how much of points the bank nifty has so i want if, if someone can help me right let me take you to 5 minutes 41380 the next day morning market has gapped down by 47.25 600 points now this is out right now you have a loss of 1770 right still within because you have deployed the iron fly with a non directional now the market has breached your second support right forget about second support guys this was your second support this has breached so now what should be your thought process right what did i say accept the stop loss deploy the new trade or else see what i'll be doing is like <clears throat> typically when when what i'll be doing is like now market so now the loss is uh, one second let me shift this to upside okay <clears throat> okay what i'll do is like so either i can exit or else let me see because my second support guys try to understand see this is this is what today's learning right this was my support one this was my support two now market has breached my support one and support two with the overnight gap down all right so now what i'll do so now comes the importance of wicks simple guys right let's say the market would have opened here gap up what would be my uh loss right let's say market was standing here but market opened breached my second resistance also 
what could have been my loss you have to understand this more than 1700 or less than 1700 More than seventeen hundred or less than seven. Can someone explain me the logic? Why? At least very short form. Why? Vix. Absolutely right. Because falling market. Simple. This don't forget this guys. Falling market will increase the vix. That's it, right? We do as an option seller. I do not want this combination. Falling market with plus. Rising VIX. That's the reason you see this loss. If market would have been opened gap up by like uh, year, so then falling market ideally VIX will be static or VIX will fall. Sorry, uh, mar see rising market. Two things: either VIX will be static or VIX will uh, what do we say fall. That's it. This is the combination what I want. Okay, now market has. Drastically fell down by uh, almost like six hundred points. So now what I'll do is like now few people will start complaining. This guy is this guy knows the view of the market. He's able to do so. I mean I do not have any answers for those uh, kind of mindset people. My responsibility for the next one one and a half hour is like <clears throat> just to tell you how I trade. So now <clears throat> what I'll do is like market stands at where is it forty thousand seven hundred. So what I'll try to do is like I'll go to forty thousand seven hundred. Option chain, okay, forty thousand seven hundred. See what I'll try to do is like you can try with OTM, you can try with Indemani. I'll just try to buy these guys. That's it, because I know my second support got breached. Right? Without right, when there is a fall, market can also fall, right? So what I'll do, I'll buy the put. Simple guys, I'll buy the put. I'll show you all the other examples also. Now people will get. Uh, I mean, they they think that see this is giving me fourteen thousand loss. Ideally, my loss was how much? Uh, somewhere around four thousand, but this is giving me fourteen thousand loss. They don't look at this weird chart because your loss. See, try to understand, guys. Your loss will be like even if the market goes up, right? Check the T plus zero loss. Don't look at the profit and loss on the expiry date. Check at the T plus zero. Your loss, even if the market goes up, your loss would be only say currently your loss is like fourteen fifty one. Even if it goes by hundred points, two hundred points, your loss will be within your stop loss. Right? Check the blue line. Your maximum loss will be on the expiry date. Okay. So now my simple calculation is simple, guys. My simple calculation would be this is what I bought forty thousand seven hundred for three eighty two. I'll do only one thing. Right? Either. Right? Either. The premium has to increase by, let's say, I'll, I'll put a stop loss of fifty points or hundred points based on your trading style. Simple. This will work like magic. You do it, then only you'll be able to. I might have done so many meters. Or else, what I'll do? The moment this gains hundred rupees, right? I'll I'll keep trailing the stop loss. I mean, what I mean to say, like, let 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 me show you that. So now, let's say I've just bought this put. So I'll put the stop loss of fifty points or hundred points in the system. That's it. You go and put this stop loss, right? Now, either this has to become how much three hundred, or else if it is like going up, I'll try to trail this stop loss. So now, what I'll try to do? So we are at <clears throat> almost at what time? At at nine twenty. Now, I'll just keep going thirty thirty minutes, right? I mean, guys, you have to focus. You have to stay focused, right? So you have to answer all my question. Okay. So thirty minutes. So. Thirty minutes, three eighty-two, right? Let me go to thirty minutes. My loss was one thousand seven hundred. So technically, this is how the market plays with you. From one thousand eight hundred, your loss has become one thousand two hundred because this has gained the intrinsic value. Simple. Forget about all these legs, right? Forget about all these legs. Don't even give any consideration to this payoff. Try to understand the blue line. This loss of fourteen thousand is on the expiry. Anyways. What are we doing? We are just playing with the intraday. This is called the power of playing with the intraday. Stay with me; all your questions will be answered. See how the market will test you. Twelve hundred. <clears throat> Suddenly, see, check your profit, your loss. See now, this has this the gained intrinsic value as reduced again because market is falling. Right? That's what you want. The market came upset basically because this has see three eighty two again uh, stop loss of hundred points. So let me take it to thirty minutes more. Right, this is how still within your stop loss. <clears throat> right, three fifty. Check the time also, eleven fifty. You have to keep a check on the time. 
right still within your within your stop loss 3500 6000 like whatever whatever is a stop loss right 30 minutes keep a check guys now again 1982 check the time you have to exit this at 320 i'll tell you why <clears throat> okay one second uh, let me take you to uh, 30 more minutes so 2000 <clears throat> within your stop loss again it came this is the way the market don't do unnecessary adjustments what did i say it's all about mindset don't do unnecessary adjustments. that's what this is the only adjustments what i've done i i'll show you all the other adjustments also like right? 1220 back to same loss 50 1400 now 1520 now guys you tell me now you tell me overall 17 1800 was the loss so now we are at a additional loss of 500 so should i hold this buy position for the next day or should i exit let's give me one second let me plug i mean which i mean <clears throat> give me one second but but think right how many people will say that hold this for the next day or exit this right now i want to hear that from you okay uh, people says exit 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 okay give give me a second guys give me a second <clears throat> Okay. Okay. So, any anyone wants to talk, I'll just unmute you. Why exit? Anyone who says, "Let's hold this. Let's hold this." Right. Anyways, your loss is two thousand. Exit if the position goes against the buy. No, I mean you have to tell. This is the. This is the. Don't look at the chart, guys. This is your trade. That's it. You have deployed the iron flag with an intention of. sideways the next day the morning has given the break down of 6 650 points right either you could have exited your iron flag what did i say now now this plays a very important now you check pros and cons what if if market comes up by uh, let's say same 700 points will you be in profit or loss overall okay i'll ask you one more question if market let's say next day the market makes 700 points how much of theta how much of premium intrinsic value you will lose you have to do that calculation that's it because this is a single leg right, right so the moment if i exit this leg let's say if i'm if i'm holding this leg and market makes say 600 points so technically right the 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 market will come in the center of your iron fly try to understand yeah maybe i'm not looking at the profit now maybe your entire loss would have been mitigated but it all depends which day is it monday is it tuesday is it wednesday thursday this is the this is the biggest pain for someone to say what adjustment you have to do so just i'm trying to uh, understand i mean make you understand saying that see even if someone is planning to hold this not a big deal yes you should know because if the market comes by 700 points the next day morning yeah this will this the, the i would lose up the premium but my overall strategy will give me uh, mitigate my loss of this so let me show you right let me show you for people who want to hold okay so 330 <clears throat> first i'll show you by holding <clears throat> 330 okay the next day morning let's see what happens i'm just holding this thing the next day morning i went right yeah right away you are at a loss of 3000 363 now technically this has met your stop loss okay now let me take you back to 320 okay so now someone said right exit this trade okay profit and loss 385 you are just giving like right i'll exit this at 320 all right <clears throat> now you're back to your iron flag this is this is the iron flag not a big deal let's right? still within the loss so next day morning i'm just going right next day morning right the market is the market has opened static you are at a loss see my thought process would be right there is there is no upside moment right so what i'll do what if if you buy one more put simple guys simple what if if you buy one more naked this is only adjustment one number one i'm telling you now no one has said if i want to buy a put can i get this can i can i exit this 42000 and go to like 
41,800. Guys, try to understand because try to understand. <clears throat> okay, let me what, what what I'll do. What I'll do, guys, let me take you back to. Okay, I'll just delete this. Okay, I'll just delete this leg. Okay, again, I'll take you back to. Uh, we are on 16th March, right? We are on uh, 13th March. Let me take you back to 10th March. Okay, at 9:20. Yeah, this is how the trade. So now you tell me, can I see when I'm planning to buy a naked buy put? Can I get this buy to inside put buy? What is it put by this 40? What is it? 40,800 to let's say like uh, 41,000. Will that be a good idea? Okay, let me show you. Okay, so what I'll try to do. So now your loss is 4,000. This is a second adjustment. So directly you can buy the put or else if you are sure about market going downside, then why can't I reduce the loss of my iron fly on the put side? It's the biggest question. Okay, so now what I'll try to do, I'll just exit this. <clears throat> okay, what is that? 40,800. Let me exit this at at a profit. <clears throat> See, you guys have to help me at times, even I get confused. Now, 40,800 is what I have exited. So let me go to 40,900. Right? Rolling up. That's it. 40,900. Let me show you. If I'm buying back this thing. Okay. So now my payoff becomes like this. So now your, your overall loss has reduced on the P side. Now your loss is 2,500 from almost like 5,000. Okay, but this has increased. But now don't ask me that question. What if, if the market takes the U-turn? Because it has to take the U-turn. It has to travel through this green zone, right? So you'll get ample time in terms of exiting this, this buy also. You have to, you'll, you'll get some uh, good advantage to sh roll down the call also. Now, this is what I've done. <clears throat> and then what if, if I would have bought, same thing, right? Market stands at 40,075. Let me take you to <clears throat> 40,700. Okay, let me buy this. Right, same thing. I'm just trying to do the second adjustment. So now I'm just combining the naked option buying with reducing the spread. If someone wants to understand, guys, already I've made a video. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to reduce the spread between this 41,400. So what did we do? We sold, we exited 40,800 and then we went to 40,900. So we have reduced the spread of 100 rupees. That's where you see that loss getting reduced. So now let me quickly take to 30, 30 minutes. I'll just go to 330, 320 basically. Right? The same thing, I'm just trying to simulate with combination now. I mean, I can tell you like where, where, where variety of combinations, but at 320. Okay, 320, right? My loss is 2000. So let me exit this buy leg. What is that? So even I get, so guys, help me someone. Okay, what is that leg? Yeah, this one, 40,700. Simple. I'm just converting back to iron fly. That's it. <clears throat> okay, this is my typical iron fly. Now, the takeaway is we have reduced the loss on the put side slowly. It's a step by step process. We are still on 10th of March, guys. We are still on 10th of March. We have deployed in, uh, on 9th within one day. I've done only two adjustments. That's it. Right? And then let me take you to 320, uh, uh, 330. This is how my trade stands. And then let me take you to 920. Simple as now. Market is same at static position. So your loss is only 2,272. So now what I'll try to do, the market stands at 40,000, same 700. Okay. Now, how to, how to get the theta decay? You could have seen there are like n number of, you could have sold a call from here. You could have sold a call from here. You could have sold a call from here. Very, not very aggressively to get the theta decay. Guys, try to understand. I cannot show you all the adjustments. If at all someone, see market has opened static, right? Let me again take you to one day back. At 3.30, market was standing at 40,600. The next day morning, that's it. Just 100 points move. Okay, upside. But if you could have sold some uh, calls here, you would have got the theta. But we are not discussing about this thing. Now, what I'll do, the market stands at 40,700. <laughs> Simple, guys. Same calculation, 40,700. And just buy. Okay, that's it. My simple calculation would be 
I'll go to profit and loss. I'll put a stop loss. Okay, forty thousand seven hundred. So we have two two. Okay, this yeah forty thousand seven. That's it. So now we are at three thirty five premium. This this has to become either two thirty five or based on your fifty points loss, hundred points loss, or else this has to gain. Now just keep an eye on this loss and profit. Right, thirty minutes. Okay, so basically we have gained the intrinsic value, right? The market is falling. In that case, the market is falling. Simple, right? Just check this thing. From forty thousand seven hundred, it came to forty thousand eighty-six in thirty minutes. Okay, let me take to thirty minutes. Now, again, the market has came up. I believe so. Now again, we are back to this thing. Thirty minutes. Keep a check on this thing, okay? And this premium, or else you can just keep a check on this thing. Overall, we have to check the overall loss, right? Five thirty. Loss. So now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, guys, one second. Okay. See, all of a sudden, your loss has been uh, into profit. So now, now check this. So now, what did I say? Initially, your stop loss you put. So now you have to trail this stop loss. See, I cannot show you that. You have to trail this stop loss. So now, five thirty-four, right? So now, exit the trade when the premium becomes. Hundred points, like let's say four thirty-four. So now we have to start booking the profit. Don't exit this trade. Trail your stop loss. Initially, your stop loss was three thirty to two thirty-five, and now that should become five or four thirty-five. So this way, and keep a check on this time, right? Keep a check on this time. See, if I take it to the payoff, this doesn't have any significance. Forget about this payoff. It looks very weird. I know this looks very weird. I mean, the I mean because this loss is on the expiry day, guys. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll go to thirty more minutes. Okay, see four thousand two hundred. Trail this stop loss. Now your stop loss should be five twenty three or fifty points, hundred points. So now technically you have uh, logged your loss basically, and I now we are into profit. I'm not even see guys. I'm not even telling about any loss. If my iron fly, if if my intention was sideways and if the market was open, I'll not try to look out for profit. But yeah, definitely I'm just showing you the profit. But I know the view of the market. But now you try to put your thought process. Maybe tomorrow you will get with this market conditions every two to three weeks, within a month. Okay. Next, let me go to uh, three uh, thirty minutes, thirty minutes, thirty minutes. That's it. Now, see, if at all I want to exit, I could have exited this trade eleven thousand. See, I'm not showing you any only growth. This is the power of VIX. That's the reason I've told you guys never ever ignore the power of VIX. This is because the market is falling. The single leg, guys, the single leg has recovered your losses, and this is giving you the profit. Now, let me ask you one question. Let right? Let me ask you one question. If I would have, let's say, I would have not bought this. Buy, I would have sold a naked call. Would I have been into this profit? I want straight answer. Everyone says that when the market is on the testing side, try to sell naked calls. Let's say I I did not bought this leg at all. I might have sold some aggressive call also. Will I be into this sort of profit? What did I say, guys? We are taking hundred rupees stop loss. Try to understand. Don't give significant role to this thing. We are putting. Hundred rupees of stop loss. So what is that? Hundred. Hundred into twenty-five, two thousand five hundred. If someone wants to give fifty rupees, yeah, for them the first stop loss might have it. The second stop loss never would have it, right? That that uh, what do we say? Uh, the fifty points you would have covered the next day. But if someone is putting hundred rupees, this is what I keep on telling. Let's be, take the calculated risk. Don't put fifty points, thirty points, forty points into this volatility market. You have to take the calculator. End of the day, you are giving only hundred rupees of extra uh, risk. Hundred into twenty-five lot, two thousand five hundred. <clears throat> right? If I would have sold, I could. I can show you the uh, example also. Okay, let me do one thing. Right? Let me take you to thirty minutes more. Okay. See how the market will test you. Eleven thousand profit. I'm not sure whether this eleven thousand profit will be there because we because we are an option buyer. With a fall, this would. Lose the intrinsic value as an option buyer. Do not lose this intrinsic value from three thirty-five. This has become nine twenty-five. I would have exited this trade. Who? I mean, loss-making trade. I went to profit, but still, let me show you, right? What? How, how the market will test you? Thirty more minutes. Thirteen thousand is your profit. Two <clears> fifty. <throat> Fifteen thousand is your profit. 
three twenty seventeen thousand is your profit. Let me show you the payoff now. Okay, right now what I'll try to do. Okay, let me take it to the let's say let's say let's say I'm booking this profit. Okay, let's say I'm booking this leg. All right, which gave twenty thousand profit. Check this is what I keep on telling. Play with VIX. Falling market is a deadly combination for taking the advantage of the VIX. Okay, now let me close this. Okay, right. this is how your payoff becomes. Now people will ask me different questions. This guy knows the view of the market. See, I don't go care for them. Right, whoever is interested. Now what I'll do is like this is what I might have done so many times. Okay, this is what. Now what I'll try to do. Let me let me delete this thing. I said what time we did that adjustments and not at nine twenty, right? So let me delete this leg. Okay, guys, are you are you with me so far? Yeah, selling. That's what I'll show you that example also. What if if I would have sold the call? I'll I'll show you, right? So far with me, right? If 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 even one person is able to understand, others should be able to understand also, right? Play like this, guys. Play with VIX. Okay, now let me delete this. We are at three thirty, right? Let me delete this leg. Okay, see if I would have not add that bought that leg, my loss would have been three thousand six forty five. Simple because see market was standing here, market is going down. So now what I'll do? Okay, now what I'll do? I'll just go to nine uh, twenty. Hope Opstar doesn't stuck. If that stuck, again I have to. Okay, many people keep on telling right, sell naked call, sell naked call. See, guys, you have to understand, right? Now, let's say nine thirty. My trade was giving two two four zero. Now, I'll not buy. I'll I'll go by selling the call. Okay, so now market stands at forty thousand seven hundred. Right, I'm showing you one one more one more example forty thousand seven hundred. So let me let me sell right uh, one two three four. Let me sell this one eighty three. Right. Simple, okay, right. So this is this is a market. Yeah, technically my loss is even further reduced. All right, my loss is even further reduced. So now I'll take you to the market. So let me show you this profit and loss. So now we sold this thing. Now keep a check. How much you can see? Let me tell you on current day how much of theta decay you can get from this sold position. Guys, you tell me please. Eighty three rupees can become how much at three twenty. Worst to worst case. Today is Friday. Today is what? Thursday, Monday. How much of theta decay you will be getting with this eighty-three points? Guys, you have to understand. You have to see. I know all these things. This session is I'm putting for you. You have to answer at max in terms of percentage: five percent, ten percent, fifty percent, hundred percent, approx twenty, twenty-five. Right? I mean, I don't even need to show this example. Also, even if I take you to three thirty at max. You will get like twenty percent DK or thirty percent DK. Like, let me still let me show you guys, right? Let me keep a check on this profit. Thirty minutes. I am not buying that. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah, technically, yeah, your loss has reduced, no doubt. But the 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 option buying, what I've told, are we taking any greater risk? If someone tell me like we are taking, we are taking the risk of fifty points. Or hundred points per lot, which is like two thousand five hundred. Someone answered right. That's the reason I keep on telling right. I have asked you one question right. Should I hold the naked buying what I have done on Friday? Majority of the people said exit, 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 exit. That's what. See, we do that mistake. End of the day, how much of premium you will lose from the buy right? If the market makes seven hundred points out of three fifty, maybe you might have lost fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. But your technically your original iron fly will come into. uh what do we say that price will come into the middle of your iron fly so you, are you looking at only naked option buying but but your majority of the profit is into iron fly okay let me take you to 330 if i do more of simulation this would stuck of stuck but nevertheless right this understanding this concept is very important i'm showing you all live okay So three twenty or three ten. Needless to say, right? All the smart traders, but that's it. Your loss is one thousand. You're from two from three thousand or two thousand eight hundred. Your loss, you're able to reduce the loss. Check the beauty, right? At max C, right? The current price, okay. But but check the profit. Your law, you're selling naked call versus buying. But what is the drawback? Is like you need to have margin here, but 
buying naked put it doesn't even requires any margin even that would be one of the solutions now what i'll do guys i'll just remove this okay okay now i'll remove this again i'll go back to i'll ask you all the questions i'll go back to 920 sorry guys if someone is not able to understand you watch my video one more time so can someone please tell me what uh, this thing we have to buy 40700 right 40700 okay my bad where are we 14th march or when is that at 920 market stands at what buy what what did we bought guys can someone help me what leg did we bought the naked buy 13th march right my bad okay sure right 13th was it 13th march 920 okay 910 okay now market stands at 40700 so let me buy 40700 all right buy 40700 pay off doesn't have any rule that's what that that's what i've learned with my see even i used to get uh, afraid of looking at this pay off then then i started then i started decoupling right so what will happen if the market see this loss will the loss will show only when the market goes by like 0.65 0.1% by that time even if i exit this extra leg my iron flow will become balanced try to understand guys okay now let me take you to 30 30 minutes At three twenty, I have few questions to be asked. Okay. Okay. Three twenty. This is giving a profit of seventeen thousand. Okay. So now, is it a good practice to all this trade, all this leg? Which is giving you twenty thousand eight fifty seven. Don't do that mistake. Ideally, see no one as the Uh, that that mindset, the psychology to to all the trade. I think people might have booked the pro, uh, trade, exit the entire trade when when your loss got mitigated. I am one of them. If my loss got mitigated, exit the trade, or else do the partial booking. Right? I do not have the psychology to wait till the seventeen thousand. Right? To be very honest, or else I'll do the partial booking. Let's say I'm trading with ten lots. I'll book five lots and the remaining five lots I'll keep trading. Now, don't do this mistake of holding. So now, what you can do is like exit this guys. That's it. You have to exit this leg. Now, what can we do? Now, this is your payoff. Your trade has become absolutely green. If at all someone wants to get some additional theta DK, we are on thirteenth. Now, try to sell some naked calls from the op market stands here, guys. Let me reset. Market stands here. try to sell some naked call from this side the who is stopping you right end of the day your trade is green now try to sell some naked calls or else many people will say try to sell naked calls what i would say is like boss try to sell let's say this is your strong support there is one more support at 2% right try to sell a naked put from here the trade has become right the reason is like if it's selling from here hardly you'll get some premiums but this is your testing side market stands here you will get two good premiums on the put side so wherever the market stands go like 2% or else now this is where you have to check your open interest your data driven what i teach you right are there any shorters here or there any buyers is there long unwinding happening short covering happening all those data points you have to see and if you get with a strike where you see more of open interest that will that will act as a support right just go and sell that Naked call because you'll get good premiums rather than selling from the call. Or else I'll just leave it to you. Exit this entire trade. Now what I'll try to show is like, okay, okay. Now let me take you to the next day, right? Five minutes, five minutes. So let's say if someone is planning to sell from here or sell from here, I want you guys to do that exercise. Now market stands at thirty nine thousand seven eighty at three thirty p.m. So now you assume. if you are selling a naked call or you are selling a naked put okay the next day morning can someone please lp 39 780 the next day morning market did market open flat if market opens flat okay what is 13th march basically 
13th march is monday okay so you have 14th 15th so just don't forget this 15th and 16th guys for the theta let me take you to five more minutes so from 39780 the market has opened a gap down by 3960 it's a more or less what do we say the market has opened more or less uh, sideways right so then either your put might have given you the theta dk extra profit even this or is just don't do anything now guys tell me can i buy a naked put one more time here right still market is down right so can i buy a naked put or should i see now it it will open up into multiple discussion now it's it's up to you now if you want to exit but let me show you right let me show you if you might have sold something from here sold something from here you might have got additional theta dk right don't be rigid don't constrain yourself right try to explore this don't do on the real but at least try to do some simulations go back to last one year back testing will not in anyone who is doing back testing do not believe the back stock some people will use stock mock as a back test you have to do simulation because back testing doesn't show you anything right it takes 920 the next day morning right during the market hours and it will generate the report that that's not the actual reports you have to do the simulation you have to see literally the market you have to go and see this this premiums how the premiums are reacting friday when we bought this naked put 40700 right that basically gave us the loss but the next day it is giving us the profit right you unless and until you do this so now let me show you right next day 920 right see guys i don't want to show right uh, now let me show you the payoff okay let me show you the payoff the reason why i have not shown you the payoff is like this is maybe what yeah this is what we are doing guys i have deployed the trade on thursday for 9th march five simple right even the price action check this check this white line whenever it took resistance came down took resistance market came down took resistance market came down even almost so even here right on 9th march it is taking the resistance so i i see basically maybe i would have taken the iron fly here. let's see let me show you this thing also right one second okay so market was standing at a resistance what happens right it might take the support of the second resistance uh, let me show you this right either market will go up or market can come down it might take a resistance so this is my resistance support one this is my let's say support two this is my resistance one let's say this is resistance two. so what happened the next day the morning support one got breached support two got breached the market opened here somewhere here right so should i think about the resistance that's it this is what i am just planning to take the advantage of rising wix right we are on technically we are on 13th march so even if you buy one more naked right see market went down market went down. you would have been in huge profit check wednesday and thursday market went down till almost like 38599 sure i'm telling this would have been given a profit of 40000 50000 also but i'll not show you ideally right look at the chart right 13th we are standing at here right we made almost like 17000 profit or something right 17 or how much is it right again market made another down moment of almost like another like 2 to 2 to 3% 2 to 3% now you have to confirm whether you want to go for see i'll just leave it to you i'm not telling you to just go with option buying now your trade has become so now deploy the put debit spread here simple guys deploy the put debit spread so if i deploy the put debit spread now at 920 will this trade show me any loss guys if i deploy the single quantity put debit spread ideally technically your put debit spread will have 9000 profit okay this is what i'm planning to say now you have to think it's typical debit spread put debit spread this is your 3k loss this is your 9k profit if i deploy a put debit spread here will will this show loss no because all the see whatever profit we have right this 3k loss will be absorbed so technically you might have something like this this part of the loss profit will be like mitigated but here your profit will increase because 9k so i'm not telling you to go with naked buy you can just deploy for some bearish trades also like your put debit spread your put ratio spread or else you can just go for your naked buy or else you can just go for my all time favorite back ratio spread that would yield you 
do much of profit this is how you have to play with wix i'm sure like many of the people might be thinking this guy no but this is right you go and try to deploy right we have discussed four to five adjustments right i have another two adjustments also it all depends on your patience if you still want me to explain this is the falling market so do you still want me to explain guys this thing if i buy a naked put let me show you right quickly like two minutes let's say at 930 the market stands at 39600 simple i'll just go here i'll buy 39600 same mechanism that's it now this will become too easy for me now my profit my my trade see now check the typical trade your trade has become green from all angles same logic either right 100 points stop loss and keep trailing so let me quickly take you to 30 30 minutes right guys just keep a check on this profit Let's see. This is how the market will test. Twenty-one thousand. Again, the profit will come down because all about intrinsic value. Eleven twenty, eleven fifty, twenty-one thousand profit. Right? Do this, guys. You have to have that policy now. All of a sudden, fifteen thousand. This is what the market goes up. This is called the retracement. You have to you have to combine all this. Whether what is happening there? Is there any short covering? Yeah. If there is short covering, basically the market will come up. right but there should not be long built up if there is a long built up you have to you have to be like very careful okay from now market can take a reversal but if there is a short covering you should not get into panic yeah even market will fall because what is short covering whoever has sold they are booking their profit so ideally market will go up that is called retracement that is called as temporary pullback but again market will fall right so let's see again 19000 profit 16000 Right, three twenty. Let me see. This is how the market will test. You see, all of a sudden, again, you are back to. So I'll not delete this. I'm going to next day, guys. Fifteenth March. Let me quickly show you. See, this is how the market plays. So don't ever see now your profit from how much from twenty thousand. It came down to thirteen thousand. Okay, let me let me show this entire this thing. But ideally, this this should give you good profit because we know market has fall. You're taking the advantage of the rising wicks. that's what i'm telling if you if you're monitoring your trade continuously see we are on 16th march on the expiry day guys see if you're continuously monitoring your trade 30000 29000 right it's all up to you 22000 i don't know maybe that we will make 25000 <coughs> but i want to show you that that's it 29 right 320 that's it so it's up to you okay this is now now what i'll try to show you guys now what i'll try to show you is like same thing i'll exit all these legs one i'll take you back to my original trade you just keep a check if you would have not done the adjustments your loss would have been 3000 right 3000 now what i'll do i'll just make this zero okay let me take you to this one but now what i'll try to do now i'll ask you one question guys yes. now let me take you to 13th march sorry 9th march <coughs> 9th march <coughs> okay same day one we got day one second day market has gap down now you guys tell me can i deploy a broken wing fly here Or that is now try to think right. We have covered everything selling now. Let's say the market stands here. Right, everyone will say that just go ahead and deploy the broken wing fly. If I deploy the broken wing fly, now you typically know that market is falling, so broken wing wing fly will not give you profit because broken wing fly what requires is U turn. That's it, guys. The moment you deploy the market, it should give the U turn. then only the broken wing fly so do you want me to show again by deploying a broken wing fly for the typical irf when when market was going down if anyone wants still i can show you but if someone has watched my last week video they would get to know broken wing fly needs a u turn market should go down there should be a strong support and then if the market takes a u turn then the broken wing fly will give you profit i have one simulation for you I, if you want i can show you that broken wing fly in that simulation also but do you think that broken wing fly if i am deploying here will work back spread see a uh, nagash back spread is simple guys see see again that will see what you have to do is like uh, see back ratio see this is what i i take the help of sensible see sensible as all the ready made trades right now if i want to 
deploy the back ratio speed i have to go to option selection but let me see let me see if i if you want me to cover i can just cover it as a separate uh, maybe at the end of the day we will see the back ratio speed okay but remind me once but guys do you want me to show the broken wing fly if anyone wants to show me i can show you anyone wants to show want to see how the broken wing fly or should i show you separate example where the broken wing fly will work okay ramesh says show me okay so ramesh what i'll do for you i'll share you one video you have to just watch that video but still let me show you one more uh, stop okay uh, trade okay let me delete all these things okay one second delete Delhi. Quickly, I'll just quickly show you. Okay, one broken wing fly. You have to know this. Okay, so is it complicated or I mean, guys, are you able to understand? If even if one person says yes, I'm able to understand, I'll be like happy. Is it too complex? I know. I mean, I've been like showing you multiple uh, this thing, but watch this video one time, two times, three times, four times. Believe me, you will become a smart trader. Forget about pro trader. There is nothing called smart trader. I'm sorry, pro trader. right broken wing fly it actually you turn please okay now i have taken one example so what i'll do is like where is that example guys one second right okay what i'll do mm, what i'll do second yeah second march and 9th march simple guys okay expiry is 9th march okay so now same thing what i'll do i'll just go to 920 the next uh, i mean 3 pm Okay, three p.m. I'm just trying to deploy a typical iron fly. Market stands at forty thousand six sixty four. Forty thousand six sixty four. So see now, there is a confusion, right? So forty thousand six fifty, right? So either we have to check the premiums, whether both the premiums are matching. So go for it. So I cannot go for three eighty four and one ninety three. There is a deviation basically. So I can go for this in three twenty eight and two thirty seven. But still, this is better. So what I'll do? I'll sell this. Okay, and I'll sell this. So, what is the cumulative premium we got? Three twenty eight plus two thirty seven. So, net net, how much we got? Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. So, we'll go for five hundred points, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'll buy back this. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'll buy back this. Right? So now, let me show you the market view. Okay, so then. you will understand so what we are trying to do is like second march right yeah yeah this one guys so i'm deploying a trade on second march okay friday it gave a good momentum all right friday and then uh monday see tuesday and thursday it fell down right so this is a sort of a shape let's see i'm not sure whether this will this 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 will work or not but let me see guys let me see okay so now let me take you to this one right so this is your typical iron fly all right so now what i'll do i'll just take you to the next day or else okay let me take you to the next uh, 330 quickly see okay so now 920 the market stands here let me quickly take you to 30 minutes 30 minutes okay now market stands here guys so now let's see what if if i deploy the broken wing fly okay now you decide your your second resistance is market stands at the second resistance if you feel that the resistance will breach then don't deploy the broken wing fly but still i know market is going upside but let me still show you by deploying the broken wing fly okay so now market stands at uh, 41300 so let me deploy the broken wing fly okay market stands at 41300 okay the 1300 so i'll go for this one sell see what is broken wing fly simple wherever the market stands you are deploying a straddle this is your straddle right for what is that 41300 you sold 4404 rupees premium put and 182 cumulative is like 400 500 it's like almost like 582 but i'll buy 500 uh, strike one two Three, four, five. Let me buy this. Okay. Now this is this is how the broken wing fly. 
Okay, now you will get some additional safety on the call side. Your call side loss has been reduced. So quick, I'll, I'll show you very, very quickly, guys. Like 30, 30 minutes. Keep a check on this 938 profit. Right? See, market is going upside. Right? Market is going up. So check this date, 3rd March. We are on 3rd March at 1220. Right? You can watch this video, guys. I'll be uploading this video into YouTube. Not a big deal. Right? 320, sorry, 420 at 320, right? At 5, yeah, 320 on 3rd, your trade is not in loss. Now, if at all someone wants to deploy one more broken wing fly, guys, you can go, but it's all depends on you. I'm not showing you that thing, right? You can go for one more broken wing fly also, but I'll not show you, but be with this thing, right? Second thing, next. See, now, if someone wants to go for one more, see, now it has come to your break even, right? If someone wants to go for broken wing fly, you can just deploy one more broken wing fly. So what is that? It will come with a cost. Your margin will increase, right? Your profit will also increase in case if the market takes the U-turn. That's it. I'm not sure whether market expires here, market expires here, or market expires here. Let me, let's, let's see. I've just taken the example. All right. So now, I know I'm just showing you very quickly, all right? 30 minutes. Check this 6th March at 10.35. Keep an eye on this profit loss on and this date. 30 minutes. See, again, the market came down, right? On 6th of March, expiry is 9th of March. We have another three days to go. This is how the market will test you guys, right? Overall, we are in still green. Okay, say so 9.20 the next day morning market fell down. We are on 8th March, one day to go for the expiry. Perfectly balanced. Check the blue line. Your loss will start from here from 1.26. Your loss, your loss is almost, I mean, almost very minimal on this thing. And the other thing is like whenever you deploy the broken wing fly, we could have brought this by leg. Where is that? 41,100. Exit this and you could have brought it to 41,000. The loss would have been almost... Right now it is showing 2000 that would have shown only like 1000 or 500 loss. Okay. Next day, 30, 30 minutes till this is out. So now <clears throat> let's check whether this will give you profit or loss. We know Thursday, the market came down. Okay. 320, right? This is where you have to take the call. Right now, either if you would have bought this like roll down right your loss would have been less so this is how the ma the market will test now you decide now do you, we are on wednesday now right we are on wednesday so now you try to sell from here you try to you try to sell because you have to take the advantage of the theta decay this is called the combination of using multiple adjustments okay let me show you what happened the next day see the next day market came down right let me quickly take to 30 30 minutes guys we all know market is falling <clears throat> but still one o'clock set to 4500 profit right if at all you want to exit 6000 profit because this is this is the key right market has to take the u-turn so if you do not see now your your profit is 8900 so let me show you if you would have so now your profit is 8000 almost like 9000 if at all we would have not deployed the broken wing fly right this three legs delete right see now if you would have not add the uh, only this, if you would have deployed this straddle, your profit would have increased. Let me delete this. I'll get you back to the original iron fly. Your loss would have been 4,000. Simple guys. Because market went, right? It went up. It came till here. One second. Right? Market was standing here, right? It went upside and then all of a sudden last day it came down. So this is where we have deployed a broken wing fly. Right, we had a safety, and then the market was trapped here. We got with the profit. Does that answer your question, guys? Guys, believe me, I'm not sure like whether anyone will take this much of effort in terms of explaining you all this strategy because I know it, but still I'm doing it just for the benefit of the students, right? I mean, I'm not promoting my course. Yes, definitely. If you want to, if you want to come into, if you want to go for my course, you'll be learning like extras. This thing, right? These are all the basic things. I would not say basic things, but still advanced concepts. Did that, did that work, guys? Now, you watch this video one time, two times. See, you have to understand. So basically, no one will explain you all these things. That's it. Deploy the broken wing fly. Because first of all, when we are deploying the broken wing fly, your maximum profit range will increase. It will give you 
500 points safety on the testing side and in case if it makes a u-turn then only you'll be getting with the profit if i would have not deployed the broken wing fly i would have been in loss that's the reason right the first trade what we have seen if i would have deployed a broken wing fly on the call side i know market is going in one direction so there is no concept of u-turn so even that trade would have yeah technically i would have reduced the loss in my first down trade technically two to three broken wing flies i would have reduced but Profit would have been more, but there is no U-turn. So, guys, this is where I tell you, right? Wherever, whenever you are in your current market price, you have to have first resistance, second resistance, first support, second support. That's it. If this support gets breached, change your thought process. Either exit your trade and deploy the directional trades. Forget about non-directional. Or else, this is your trade one, right? Keeping this trade as a reference, you manage your trade one with non-directional trades. You deploy. That's what we have done, right? This was your non-directional trade. The moment the support got breached, and then we uh, bought the naked put by just taking 100 rupees of stop loss. If someone's comment here saying that this guy is taking huge risk, I'm not taking. Did we ever saw my trades into? Yeah, broken wing fly will will make your trade unlimited loss on one side. For that, you have to be like very aggressive. I'm not telling you to deploy the broken wing fly, but you have to be like very good at price action. You have to know the level. And you have to know that market as to whenever you deploy the broken wing on the call side, when you have a strong resistance still, if that resistance got breached, simple guys, uh, forget about broken wing fly. If you want, you can exit or else you have to go for the direction. Call, buy the call 